Welcome back to the Adventist Education Corner. In news on enrollment, our Seventh-day Adventist schools in Barbados, home to 486 students, remain resolute in propagating the philosophy of SDA education, irrespective of the circumstances. While the enrollment at the Bridgetown SDA Primary School experienced a slight increase over the last two years, the secondary school declined during the same period. The parents' inability to afford tuition continues to be the main reason for the withdrawal of students. Meantime, the Education Department has continued to celebrate SDA beliefs that seem to be losing prominence in the churches. The department devoted a week to celebrate the Sabbath, which ended with a virtual sundown worship with parents and the school family. The Sanctuary Doctrine was also featured during separate weeks of activities. In an update on baptism, the school's spiritual initiatives continue to reinforce spiritual values among students. As a result, 14 students demonstrated their commitment to Jesus and were baptized. You are listening to the Adventist Corner News and on academic performance, we can report that the schools continue to fulfill their obligations to students in virtual and physical spaces. Over the last four years, statistical reports from the Ministry of Education revealed that the Barbados SDA Secondary School outperformed the regional and national averages in the CSEC examinations each year over the last four years. Interestingly, each year, the schools also performed better than the combined scores of the private secondary schools in Barbados. The primary school results are equally gratifying. The results of the 2021 National Assessment revealed 84% of the students scored above the national mean of 66.28%, while 54% scored above the national mean of 55.64% in mathematics in the 11 plus examinations. And, of course, we must speak of graduation. This year, 91 students graduated from the two schools in ceremonies that demonstrated elegance, creativity, and excellence. Meanwhile, marketing our schools has taken several new approaches to mitigate the losses. Our most significant strategy was a conference-wide education convention on April 24, 2021, under the theme, Empowered in His Hands. The talents and confidence portrayed by the students will be etched in the minds of the captive audiences who could only exclaim, what an excellent production. We give God thanks for the gift of ministry he has bestowed on his children. During the lockdown, both schools organized a pantry to serve the needs of parents who were finding it difficult to fend for their children. We were gratified by the responses of Pastor Haynes and other parents for their generous contributions. On school information systems, the Education Department has ensured that arrangements are made for all schools to operate systems that allow for the digitalization of the school's records. The initiative aims to increase productivity, improve student-teacher collaboration, save natural resources, grant access from anywhere, increase transparency with parents, reduce communication costs, and reduce the workload. Website. The newly established Education Department website provides opportunities to connect with stakeholders and friends and makes provision for registration, marketing, and donations. Training. And of course, training continues to build our human resources base to heighten preparation for the dynamics in the educational landscape. Monthly virtual staff development sessions were held. The integration of faith and learning, motivating students in online learning and strategies for delivering virtual instructions were explored. Other virtual training sessions included management of schools during economic downturn by Pastor Bertie Henry and Brother Gilbert John Francois for all school boards members, fostering the promotion of SDA education in the church by Dr. Hilary Bowman for education secretaries. Teamwork makes the dream work by Dr. Cheryl Hislop 
while Dr. Adam Archiga of Loma Linda University presented on psychosocial coping strategies. The schools also conducted an exceptional learner seminar. Restructuring of staff. During the period under review, schools bid adieu to 11 employees. We value the years of dedication that these men and women of faith offered our schools and thank them for their commitment. And when we speak of achievements, we must also speak of challenges. The four major areas of concern are as follows. One, the maintenance of enrollment to support the school's offerings and other initiatives continue to pose a challenge. Two, high receivables continue to impact the school negatively. And three, a drop of significant income from sources other than tuition as a result of the pandemic. In response to these unfavorable situations, the schools have restructured staff, engaged receivable management clerks, heightened marketing endeavors, took stringent measures to reduce expenditures, and employed strict measures to encourage the payment of tuition. And that's where we come to an end of today's Adventist Corner News. But before we close, our gratitude goes to the Island Development Council for their generous contribution of $300,000 to complete the extension of the primary school and the CVQ building at the secondary school. The IDC's monthly financial subsidy and the solar panel project that we plan to start at the school this academic year. The East Caribbean Conference Administrators and Executive Committee, Boards of Management for their unrelenting support throughout the years. The Churches for your prayers, moral support, student sponsorship, and monthly subsidies. Your invaluable contributions to the school are appreciated. Barbados SDA schools are destined for greatness, and with your collaborative effort, we will overcome. God bless our schools. I am your reporter, Kareem Smith, signing out.